Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy About Fly Fishing. I'm on a local shore-based saltwater fly mission today. A friend alerted me to some uh, supposed action from the shore, so we'll see what happens and I'll catch up with him and hopefully we'll get something. It might be local, but it's been a matter of a mission to get here. Uh, probably about an hour and a half drive because of a lot of road works and a grader working on the gravel road. So yeah, it's been a bit of a challenge to get here. So uh, I hope it's going to be worthwhile. I haven't been here for some time, um, but I've had some good sessions here. The spot's a bit hit and miss, to be honest. Uh, sometimes there's a lot of kawai, sometimes there's a lot of bait fish. And uh, it's also a well-known spot for kingfish uh, on live bait. So just going to see what happens on the saltwater fly front. I've had, uh, as I said, mixed success here. So yeah, hopefully today is a lucky day. Well, this is going to be my first cast. There's a big school of sprats sitting back here. Um, well, hopefully a bit later, the kawai will start harassing these fish and possibly there's potential for kings coming through as well, which was apparently what happened yesterday. Well, you should be able to see the sprats sitting there. And they do that when they get scared. That's just because I'm casting, oh, or not really casting, getting tangled. Currently I've just got my sinking line on my 10 weight predator rod. Because it, it gets quite deep, quite quick off here, so we'll see how that goes. I've just got a white clouser on at the moment. Get a few cast, get everything out set up and while there is some nice kelpie structure here not really had any luck with snapper here um, so I'm mainly looking for kawai and potential for kings I've got another rod set up with, uh, with a popper as well there isn't much of a back casting room here. There's cliffs behind me, so that's why I'm casting on quite an angle. Okay, so if you can see that, as the current rips out here uh, on the way to Australia, it creates the current there and then it creates a big back eddy towards that way, which fills up with bait and uh, often the kingfish and kawai come out here and try to get the bait, so uh, I'm going to just work my way along here. I'm going to do a couple of casts in the current and see if I can pick anything up and then we'll see what happens. I'll let you know if I hook anything. We are essentially just waiting for some action to happen. The bait's starting to accumulate in this back eddy, uh, which will hopefully eventually bring the kawai and hopefully kingfish around. So watch this space. So I brought the uh, gas cooker and coffee and milk and the kettle and water and no cup. So we'll figure this out.
Okay, there's a school of uh, fish starting to bust up. First action so far, making my way over there. Although they look like they're coming this way, so I just need to find somewhere I can cast effectively. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. They're coming this way, Brian. I'm just going to try and ambush it here. I've got a crease fly on. And um, it's getting rather windy now. Okay, not on fly, but Brian's got a uh, oh, why by the looks of it. A nice fat one, too. That's awesome. Well, there we go. Bit of a crowbar there. Yeah, a bit of. Um, He's a very conscious fisherman, so he's got single barbless hooks on his lures, which is really cool, and so it makes it easy to release the fish as well. Oh, there's some good bust ups. Here he comes, here he comes. Good bust up. That was a fully being chased, fish fully being chased. I can't near, even get nearly there, but uh, that was a good bust up. The wind's really making it difficult. Oh, bust, busting, busting, cowboy busting. Okay, it was right there, it was right there, it was right there. They're coming right in here. Oh goodness. I could see that car while busting on the surface quite effectively. Right in amongst here. Ah. I wonder if you can see that on the video. I don't know how long my Go GoPro battery is gonna last, but there's a bit of a school of bait fish right in front of me and I had a couple of follows from some fish I couldn't see there wasn't particularly big car why but I could see some car why coming in close and following my fly I'm struggling to get good casts out in this window Baby car while also following my uh, fly vigorously. Just need a bigger one to come up and get it. Be ideal. Let's quickly talk about a couple of useful things that's very really handy for fishing off the rocks or the shore. One is a stripping basket, it's almost a must have. Try to get one with like the cones or something in there so that you can. Uh, separate the line and prevents it from tangling in the basket and falling out so that's really handy something else that's really handy is a stripping guard it really prevents your finger from uh, having a lot of pain from the line cutting it once when stripping so uh, yeah you can get these from Isla Fly Fishing as well as a stripping basket and uh, yeah handy things to have when you're fishing off the rocks I'm currently fishing with the 8 weight Predator fly rod a floating line and the uh, one of Simon's big eye flies on a nine foot leader uh, of about 16 pounds uh, for a carbon. That should deal with any car wire around here. Well, it's been a couple of hours now. There's been consistent bait schools around, but uh, only a few car wire coming through. Uh, one that Brian caught, and uh, I had a bust, one busting right in front of me. I hope they could see that on the video. But we're just not getting. Uh, enough to to get a lot of hookups so i've only got maybe 25 minutes left so 
we'll see. Time's running out. Probably I won't catch any catch one, but you know, gonna try anyway. Well, I've pretty much run out of time. So it looks like it's gonna be a blank for me for today. It does sometimes happen though, especially from the shore. Had a bit of activity. Ryan got that one fish. I had a really good shot at that one busting in front of me here, but it just didn't seem to want the uh, the fly. So I'd have to just be next time.